Okay. Uh, welcome to this uh, the the tech talk of the Faculty of Engineering of the University of Hong Kong. And uh, my topic is re-understanding of actual volcanoes. You can see that's a volcano, the pub, and then the the the, the ash and the gas come out. It is an eruption of a brown warm volcano and taken by myself what year on July 4th, 2011, 10 years ago. My name is Yu uh, uh, Zhongqi Quentin from the Department of Civil Engineering, Faculty of Engineering, the University of Hong Kong. So the conventional understanding of active volcano is the magma, or the mountain rock, from the deep, deep earth or the mental or the the the, the outer crust, then to come to here, then come out, then to erupt with gas and lava, and the rock broken rocks then form the pyroclastic rock, then form this cone shaped mountain. So that's the conventional standard of the active volcanoes. So the magma chamber, the mountain rock, the magma is from the deep ground. So my re-understanding of active volcano is this chamber, this gas and the rock reaction. The gas is from deep ground. The rock is also surrounding rock, like it grows rocks in the crest or deep. So then the action here, then produce the broken rocks, then the lava, and then the gas. So then forming this cone shape mountains. So the gas, methane gas come out from the deep ground, then make chemical reaction, physical reaction with this surrounding rock in the, this glue rocks here. So that's the brief of this re-understanding. So change the conventional understanding of magma chamber into a gas. So the material conventional magma understanding of actually can believe the hot magma or molten rock with volatiles or gas come out from up mountain or as a sonosphere. Then come from this one, go up a mesosphere, then go to the chamber here. So the ascent, ascent of Seneca rich magma. Okay, so the point of basaltic magma and the differentiation, okay, then the form of some uh, minerals like olive. So the deep mental primes, the concept here. So the conventional standing is the partial melting in upmost atmosphere. This magma form here and go up, magma go upwards. So then the missing gas, we understand the actual volcano assumes that we seen gas, not the hot magma come from liquid metal out of the earth and pass through the mantle of this atmosphere. So that what come from bottom is to this different location and to the chamber or to here is the gas from deep ground, from the hot liquid metal, hot core. So that's the USGS, you know, have this cartoon published in 2010. So then the conventional standard magma, the hot magma or molten rock with the gases come from up mental or deep mental, mental problems. So from this subduction zone, then from this kind of spreading zone and then hot, hot problems and the spreading zone. Okay, so the methane gas, we understand of active volcano assumes the methane gas, not hot magma, come from liquid metal or core of the earth passes through the mental and missile sphere and it has a chemical reaction. In the, with the surrounding rocks. So which one, which understanding is correct? 
So then this convention understanding magma and you understand the re understanding of within gas, which one is correct? So my belief, the criteria in science and engineering is the correct understanding can logically consistently and quantitatively explain, describe, predict all the nature of phenomena associated with the actual volcanoes. So that's the massive eruption of Tonga Honga volcano in January 1415 to 22. And uh, you can see this is a massive gas with ash come out from the volcano uh, chamber. So then causing the tsunami or the air change, atmosphere change. Okay, so that's the very high pressurized Okay, the gas with ash. Okay, so the gas are so much, okay, and come out from the deep ground. So what are the most important phenomena taught by this volcanic eruption? Okay, so of course the gas and ash, and what else? The chamber, storage, the gas before eruption. Okay, so that's important. So what are the gases? There might be H2O2, H2O, CO2, but they are the changes. Okay, so those are the recent, uh, they are actually every year, they are many, they are many, okay, volcanic eruptions. And those are the some one example. So this one is in Chile. Okay, then this one in the Hawaii in 2018, and this one is Eta. Eta volcano in Italy, and the lot of gas come out. Okay, and um, and in in Hawaii, lot of lava come out. Okay, and with high pressure. So the most important phenomena with those uh, volcanic eruptions are the same: the mass of volume, the mass of gases of high pressure erupting out of the chamber in ground below the cone shaped mountains. So the chamber must be huge, containing all the gas and ashes. So it means what? It means the chamber is huge. So why have a huge chamber there? So that's the sequence of events of form crater lake, because uh, this is uh, in the Earth Science book, and uh, the crater lake in Oregon, USA, so the, the this kind of cartoon says, then this uh, violent eruption Mount Matala, eruption here. Then the power should empty the empty the chamber. So empty the chamber, empty it here. So what's the red one is magma, but the magma has lots of gas inside. So then, because the eruption of the, this part here become empty, so the up, up pushing of the rock in this kind of region, the Kongsha Mountains here, and the clouds to fill this gap here, the empty the chamber here or cavity here. So become lake here, okay, become lake here. So the steel, that's magma still here, but the magma has lots of gas inside. So, so how much many magma here? We don't know, okay, in all this. So what is the ratio between basaltic magma and the gas content, such as CO2, H2 in the hot magma? Can we do calculations? Okay, so, why cannot basaltic magma fill the chamber space? So it seems you come for the magma come out. Okay, magma should be dominant. The gas will be minor, but now the gas become dominant. Okay, then the magma become minor. So magma is what? It's liquid. Liquid man, the the melting rock is liquid. So liquid. What's about liquid? Liquid means cannot expand. The only gas can expand. So if liquid, a little bit of volume increase, the pressure will become zero. So that, that's very important. So the correct understanding must be able to answer the following two most important phenomena as well with active volcanoes. Why and how does each active volcano has a massive volume and a mass of gases with high pressure? Why and how does each active volcano has huge volume of cavity, cavern or empty space in the crystal? Rock below the cone mountain. So why have this stuff here? Why have a bigger chamber there, an empty space here? Why not filled by the lava or magma? 
So Makamah since the Kunin dot becomes rock, the solid material. <coughs> so the charm is supposed to be full of solid material. So this cannot become the empty space. Okay, so the real understanding of active volcano is what? Is the gas come out from the fault zone, the gas reaction with the igloos rocks or uh, igloos rocks are surrounding between the in the crest, then they produce what? Produce lava, then produce gas and uh, dust, ash, then fragments, rock fragments and lava. So this rock fragments and dust and lava are all the, from the rock, okay, surrounding this chamber or in the chamber. So the gas, CH4, you think it's CH4, you know, it comes from the liquid metal outer core and the mercury through the mantle and arrive in the crest rock or the deep mantle. Then the gas store in the crest rock and the chemical physically mechanical reacts with surrounding rocks, brooks, and melts, then form the chamber gradually an empty space or a cavity with gas and the, all this uh, lava and then the broken rocks and ashes. So the reaction generates lava met metal ores like uh, oxide and new and the case such as CO2 and H2O2, S2O, SO2. Then the lava fragments form in the cone mountains, lava and the fragments, black fragments, surrounding rocks. Then the cone mountains become high, the height of cone mountains become high and high. Then the volume, cone volume here become larger and larger. Then the cavity, the cavity chamber, the size of cavity become larger and larger. And then the roof, okay, the roof between the cone mountain and in the chamber, the rock reduced with time. So eventually, this nodding and this one will collapse, okay, forming the volcano created lake. So that's the real understanding of active volcano. That's the chamber material, the rocks, silicates, the rocks, and then come to this cone mountains and ash is far away. So and the case reaction here, the case by CH4 with the earthquake. So the earthquake induced lots of gas come to here in the chain reaction. Okay, so from deep fault, okay, so that. Then the cone shed mountain, the volume of this cone mountain rocks, okay, and equal to almost equal to the, the size of cavity. Okay, so then when this one collapses, this one settled here, become a, become a crash neck. So the volume of the cone mountain equal to the volume of the gas chamber or cavity below the ground. Then the honey compressed dense missing gas mass flowing from the mantle through deep falls into volcano gas reaction chamber during earthquakes. So the CH4 with oxygen in the surrounding rocks becomes CO2 and 2H2O and the heat and, and another other reaction, the gas compound. So they release heat. The heat and reaction generate lava. Okay, melting the uh, partially melt the surrounding rocks. The the money is gross rocks. Okay, so this is in the uh, Italy. Okay, okay, in Italy. So this is the Concha Mountains here, and this Concha Mountains here. So the we can do all this uh, lava come out and the ash come out, the fragments come out from this cone. So the volume of this cone can be calculated by this small equation here is about 530 kilometer cube. So this rock soil, whatever cone, lava, is coming from the covered. So the covered below this one is about the same size, 530 kilometer cube. So that's the equation here equal like this. So it means here is a big charm or cavity in the epidol, the cold mountain of Italy. So then this is in, in the Italy, this color here is called the lake fall solar. The volume of lake about 50 kilometer cube. So that's a volume 
Okay, so then this size, when you see the same size as this one, so in a way, the curves of form of Kedu mountain produce neck boson. So then the future curves of Itada Vokedo, the mountain, cold mountain will produce a neck of Itada of similar size. So here will be another neck here after the, the glass because the bottom are empty. This gas come out. So that's the reason. So why we have a cone shell mountains? Why have this kind of neck after the huge clubs? So there are many, many volcano necks, the mountains. Okay, this one is a big one, is about 100 kilometers long and wide about 50. So this is uh, called the Duba Great Neck. Okay, so this one, Duba, Lake Duba was result of super volcano eruption occurred about 69,000 to 77,000 years ago, a massive climate changing event. Okay, so that's the volume of water here is about the set. Recent years, water about 240, but below that one. So because originally it's a big mountain here. Okay. So the chamber of Kevin side equal the cone mountain and lake volume and the gas and the ash. Okay. So that's the bigger, bigger the the, the mountain collapsed, you know, about the seven thousand years ago. So that's the understanding. So here, now this is still get come out and this island come out. Okay. So that's the iron actually sediments of the lake. Okay, this is a great lake of the we call Changbai Shan in China. So that's the size, okay. And this one is the water about uh, volume about the say lake volume about uh, four to seven kilometer cube. So that's the clubs, okay. You know the mountain about say ten kilometer cube. So that's a huge chamber below and the clubs settled there. So that's the idea. So the chamber volume of this mountain about the very huge, okay? We can do simple calculations. Okay, this one is the Fuji mountain. We need to really understand the Fuji volcano, Fuji mountains here. So this Kongsha mountains, okay? So if we do this Kongsha mountains here, if we do this kind of calculations here, around here, the volume of Kongsha is around 530 kilometer cube. So that's the, so that's the, inside. So the cavity also similar. So you know where the Fuji mountain has a big cavity below. That's cavity full of gas and lava and then the frag rock fragments and ashes and waiting for eruption, okay, in the future. Once the, the more gas come in, the pressure increase, the, the chamber, the, the, the roof, okay, become thinner and thinner. Eventual clubs to form a neck here. So in Japan, you have many inland necks because of clubs of mountains. Okay, so that's the USGS about 10 in the year 2010, a cartoon of yellow, yellow stone volcano and caldera. Cut, cut so that's the, the magma here. They are, they are cartoon, but the magma eruption gets come out and magma finished and the clubs here. So that uh, should be gas in the chamber or covered and uh, form a huge mountain here. So the mountain clubs form in the current situation of the Cadura, uh, 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 Cadura, So then the Cadura here. So the rock clubs, the mountain clubs do the gas erupted. So we saw support. So that, that's important. The small gas eruptions make the cone mountain and the height volume and high and high. The gas with ash erupts powerfully and the chamber roof eventually collapses. So the, the chemical reaction causes chamber graphic cavity space, large and large. The original roof, okay, thickness becomes thinner and thinner. So and then the gas accumulated in the one more and it can be the pressure and high and high can be small eruptions and then small eruptions and the continue the final ones, okay, the clubs of the uh, cool mountains. So the chamber here. So that's the yellow stone mountain. So people say, oh, yellow stone mountain will erupt, erupt again. That's difficult because this, this chamber collapse finished already. So it takes a lot of time to build up the cavity and then the cool mountains. 
So then that's the understanding of the cone mountains and the gas and the chamber or the cavities. So we need to re-understand of the basic nova, basaltic nova. So you know, we have intrusic protonic rocks, gross rocks here. Then we have part of gross rocks. So this intrusive protonic rocks believes what a phenomena is in the minerals, very large and visible minerals. All the grains of minerals are very large and mineral by like ice. Each mineral is a, each grain is a mineral. And there are seven types of minerals here. The interface between two and in two uh, minerals are sharp and clear. You can see the interface are very sharp and very clear. Okay, this one and this one and this one and this one, the interface is very clear. So that's the belief is slow, very slow cooling from magma enough time to crystal to grow up. Okay, because when it becomes magma, pure magma, very high temperature, has material become homogeneous. Then when temperature becomes cooling down and uh, the mineral going up, grew up, okay? So that's the understanding for this gross, gross rock or protonic rocks. But for this explosive rock, like basaltic, basalt, then you can see that's the mineral here, very nice mineral, but it's inside here, lots of this kind of very invisible minerals. So we had some grains of minerals are not enough and visible by neck eyes, like this one here and this one here. But the invisible small minerals are present in the interface between any two large minerals. So this one here are very small here, cannot be observed. Those invisible small minerals are called the matrix. Okay. So then interface between the large minerals are not sharp and not connect. So you can see the, the interface, the old boundary here is very so very, very rough and eroded, eroded it's because melted. Okay. People believe this one because not. Uh, grew well, but actually it's melted. So the surrounding here is melted and suddenly cooling down. Okay, for this kind of basaltic rock. So the re understanding of basaltic lava, the basaltic lava is a molten rock influenced with the temperature from 7,100 to 1,300 C uh, degrees. Then most of the materials are basaltic silicate solutions and liquid. And is a liquid. Then basalt lava also contains sustainable crystal and then gas bubbles. Okay, it becomes basalt rock in the solid state after cooling down. And this one here is the lava, basalt lava. Then after cooling down, become basaltic rock basalt. So the composition of mineral by warming of the crest. So then the about the more than 90 90 percent of the rock volume. Is by this kind of silicate, silicate minerals, including cross, biospars, mica, conibrines, proxene, uh, olivine. So seven. Okay, there are two types of uh, uh, biospars. This is a plagiar glass and acrylic biospar. Okay. So and the cross, then pro, pro, proxene, then mica, and the olivine. Okay. So that's very important. Okay, olivine only three percent in the crest, but in the mantle are more. Okay, so that's the temperature case. Why I have this temperature beliefs, the measurements, and then this kind of theory. So this is a cross scene section. Okay, the scene section, a typical one in the, the olive rich basaltic rock from Nava or Mount uh, uh, Mona Noa located in Hawaii. So it's a large olive olive uh, uh, crest in the fine grand matrix. So you can see all this here, this one there. So this one here, you can see this one, people want solution here because this one here, people say, oh, this one that grew up, not grew up well. So the, the, the boundary is not clear. It's actually, this can be another interpretation is melted. So this one are melted, okay? So the minerals are melted. Okay, so then you have a lot of gas bubble inside that they call the vis viscose, okay? Viscose are present also, so bubbles inside. So that's the melting here by gas reaction. So the conventional magma understanding is that olive oil was crystallized from the hot magma during the cooling down from high to lower temperature in the chamber. And the fine grained matrix are not crystallized due to rapid cooling from magma. The missing case we understand is that olive oil is the country rock. It was not the partially melted mineral during the heating up by the gas rock chemical reaction. 
the fine ground matrix are completely melted and other minerals like crust, okay? So become the matrix. So that's the opposite, opposite, okay? So this, uh, the, they have this kind of, in geochemistry, you have Bowen's reaction theories. So the melting temperature mineral of solids. So solids can be melt of minerals. There are seven minerals here. So first the crust melting at 800 uh, degree of Celsius. Then we have also class first bar, you know, around say 900 or 10, 1000. Then bauta, you know, okay, about the 1100. Then we have the praxin about 1300. And only one should be 1400. So the reason we say the temperature is from 700 to 1400 because this range so we have we can see the olive in there, but not the praxine or not this kind of uh uh glass fields, okay. Then then there's gold class fields, okay, and the cross and the and the biotype. So that's the temperature here. So so the conventional understanding the bones reaction series started from high to low temperature, okay, because the, the the molten rock, magma, from deep ground temperature can be two thousand, you know, ten thousand, okay, or two thousand, three thousand. So the, all the 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 liquid become homogeneous materials. So when they come to the chamber, then cooling down, then stay there, you know, then to form at this hundred here, fourteen hundred, forming the olive. Okay, then we'll continue from another minerals, but. It, Erupted, then cooling down quickly. So we have olive, then we have the matrix here. Okay, so that's the convention and then this process of lava become rock. So the real understanding approved approve that bones reaction series start from the low to high temperature melting differential minerals as the heat increase. Because during the chemical reaction, the heat generates a great journey, the temperature increases in the chamber. So the cross might be the first melt, then have also glass field spot, and have bautite, then have bulk glass field spot, then have praxine, then have olive remaining. So the olive remaining here means the temperature not reached to 1400, only between 7, 800 to 1300. So that's the real understanding. So the surrounding rocks, minerals melted, differentiated, okay, not uh, simultaneously, okay. So so when the temperature increase, the differential, so remaining part. So that's the, so you can see this all of them, the surface, all surface inside here are all not uh, smooth, not the, uh, not mineral should be very, very, the crystal has shape, okay? Right angle shape, straight line. But here is rounded, so it's melting, okay? But in the convenient stand is that this one not uh, grew well, okay? But the real understanding here is it's a partially melted. The olive minerals, other minerals are melted already. So that's the understanding. So the chemical reaction between gas, missing gas, and oxygen in the country, granitic or other you know, rocks and gravel, rocks in the crystal and up mantle. So that's the interesting protonic rocks. And this is the basaltic rock here in this part here, the black one. So the brewing reaction starts from the low to high temperature and melts the differential different minerals in rock as heat is released more and more by the chemical reaction. So the, the gabbro has some in the minerals or whatever content as a granite in the grass, feldspar, praxin, and the humble and the bauta, olive, but the olive is important here. So then, and then all the others can be melted by the heating, the remaining can be partially melted uh, olive. So that's called the, the oxygen can be released to become the gas CO2 and H2O. So all the rich basaltic rocks here. Okay, so that's the real understanding. Okay, if we see the arctic granitic and granulite and cross direct and anisite and cyanide and basalt and olive and basalt and peridotite. So that's the rocks here. So then we can have oxygen here, the percentage of oxygen, okay, in terms of the weight, this one 47.87%. And here, 
the basalt is 72. This one reducing here to then reducing here, 72, 42 percent. So then the ocean difference by basalt here, basalt is zero, and others 87 to 80 percent more than the basalt. And all one basalt is much less, and the peridolite are much less. So then this one here, oxygen different by peridolite can be 30 percent or 19 percent or 13 percent. So the country rocks can offer enough oxygen elements from the chemical reactions with methane to, from the old core to produce CO2 and H2O, basaltic lava and ashes and rock fragments and the heat. The granitic rocks can have 45 and 36 oxygen in the weight. Then basaltic rock can have 42. So oxygen granitic rocks can have seven percent more than that basaltic rocks. Okay, so that's quite important. Okay, then what? With our understanding, the reaction can produce metal ores if the metal ore come out with much less oxygen. So, for example, magnetite Fe3 and O4 has 27.64% oxygen in weight. So, this 27.4%, you can see, is very small, okay, for this uh, the metal ores, you know, oxidized. So here you can see it's 47. Okay, so this one very small. So in the way, can release lots of oxygen and produce so that volcano has lots of metal ores there. Okay, so like iron, like copper, okay, or other metals, massive. Okay, so re understanding of volcano in Japan. Japan active volcanoes are monitored by GMPS, so there are so many, okay, in red ones. Then this one is here is the Fuji volcano. We said the mountain volcano, we said already. And here is the mountain on tag we we'll discuss because this one is important. And here, more important here, this one is the mountain Simo volcano here in this location. And this one is the huge, the March 11 to 11 earthquake, magnitude 9.1 okay, in this location. So this volcano, the Simo, you know, before and after this uh, big earthquake in Eastern Japan in this location has not of eruption here. So from starting from January 26 and February 1, then March 30 after the earthquake. So then this is not March 11 to 11 is the earthquake. So before and after, then there are not of eruption here. Okay, so. This is called a Simon mountain Simon volcano. You have so many gas and ash come out. So making the chamber so huge. So then this kind of mountains, this location, a huge chamber, you know, okay? So then they're, then they're connected, okay? So that's the very important understanding. Huge gas come out, okay? And the materials, this gas and the ashes. And the most important, so the chamber below is huge, okay? Eventually become big neck there, okay? Huge neck there. So their chamber are connected. So by the Japanese monitoring, the earthquake put there, you know, before and before and ask before, you can see that's the 11, March 11 is the March 11 around here. So this is the March, okay? So that's March, it might be here, around here, okay? 11, this is April. So then that's the, the 600 per day earthquake. Then they have the magnitude here, okay? Because small magnitude don't count, okay? Then also the volcano, this volcano eruption here, you can see eruption here. So all the times and the eruption here. So that's the eruption, that is the duration of eruption, 24 hours per day. So you can see the eruption here is about 92, 93 hours, and here about 300 hours, and here about 106 hours and others here, you know? So total hours for you know, before the, before the, before the, before the, the, the earthquake, March 11, it was 500. Then afterwards, they still have some uh, huge eruptions here. Okay, so that's an earthquake, a huge number of earthquakes here, you know, 400, this is, uh, this is 200 here, but there, so there are thousands of earthquakes, you know, can be measured, make it very high, okay? Okay, so most important is, is the burning of 19 of summer volcano on April 18. So after, you know, 
the earthquake, so the the whole mountains become burning. So the, because of why? Because the originally was CO two H two O two, and the changing from the from the CH four. After that, because the react the gas come out by the earthquake, then more we see gas come out and new new time for reaction. So the we see gas come out, then come this kind of burning, and the lightning of the mountains. Okay, for many hours. Okay. So it's huge burning of mountains. So that's the important understanding. So the gas come out frequently in the deep ground via earthquake, then causing this kind of burning and then eruptions. Okay, accumulation there. Okay, so that's another in the uh, untech volcano. When you really understand it's uh, September 27th to 14, it suddenly erupted, okay? And the huge gas come out okay in the mountains then kill about 63 people in the first the fatal volcanic eruptions in japan since 1991 eruption in the mount Anzong. so this will also uh, kill many people it said this the volcanic eruption in japan since the uh, Hiroshima killed in you know, 150 in 1902 so the predicting of this one is incorrect why incorrect because the convention is Standing, the magma standing is not completely correct. So that's another one. Okay, we need to understand of the Hawaii volcano. This is a show from this uh, active called like Kelnara volcano in 2018 and by USGS. So a lot of gas come out, okay, and lot of magma come out, okay, hot magma lava come out. Okay, so and the chamber collapsed. The chamber class, so that's a chamber class. So the chamber class are huge, okay, huge chamber class, okay. So then the gas come out, okay, and then the, the then the magma come out, okay. Then the burning, the lava, lava, burning lava here. The lava you see burning here. So why the lava burning, okay? So according to the Hawaii volcano observation, the Kelnoria volcano has a gas of H2O2, H2O, and then CO2, SO2, and then nitrogen, and then CO, and then H2, and S2, and whatever others, this one L. So then the volume sent you like this, okay? That's important here is CH4 and H2, okay? So that's two here, H2 here, CH4 here. So because CH4, H2 come from deep ground and making the chemical reactions, and forming lava and the gas, a new gas is CO2, H2, and S2O. Okay, so that's the very important phenomena and the observations here. And the most important after many days of the lava come out and then the gas come out, the blue frames, the blue frames show up, okay? The blue frames show up. So these blue frames she indicates the point of methane, methane gas, okay? The methane gas. You think it's CH4, okay, it's show up now. So, but it, the, the USGS may be sure this one is the other reasons, the ground grass or other things come from missing gas, but it actually it's deep ground, okay? So that's missing gas come out. So that's direct evidence we have missing gas burning, okay? And gas burning and missing gas burning. Okay, then that's the in 2018. So USGS still think about this, this magma come out, the lava is come from magma and with gas. So the H22 is from water, okay? From the, the uh, in the, in the, in the press, the water from ground go down there. So then I put this one here, the we understand of Hawaii mountain volcanoes here. Hawaii have huge mountain here, saying this is a sea lava here. Then this is the huge, huge, the, 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 this kind of, uh, this is not a cone shape, but anyway, it's small, you know, right? The larger angle cone, cone shape. So this is the lava formed. Okay, so the the bottom has a bigger, bigger cavity. So the the size of the cone mountains equal to the size of the volume of the cavity below. So the gas from deep ground stay here, then get chemical reaction here. So might be a little bit deep here, but anyway, maybe this one can be calculated or found out. But anyway, so that's the reason deep ground, and then the gas with ash come out and lava come out by this high pressure of gas. So the 
reaction chamber produces lava by methane gas. So that's so that we understand, okay, how can we understand this one? People believe that the protein has the heat, the magma come out, okay, and into somewhere below. This the heat. Then, most importantly, if this one class, then here will form a huge, uh, a huge of the, the table mountain, okay? The table mountain, and then that's the lake and below the sea water. Okay, so that's the chamber here. The crest depression, but the crest depression, okay, then can cause it, the volume becomes smaller. Okay, so that's the basic understanding for Hawaii, re-understanding of Hawaii volcano, okay? The gas come in here, the methane gas, H2, H2, okay, hydrogen gas come out here in reaction. And then taking the gas and the lava come out from this kind of cold mountain, and here become a, a empty space or cavity, an earthquake. Okay, so there are many more phenomena evidence that can be expanded, described, and predicted with methane gas the understanding of active volcanoes. So I have made a lot of field trips of volcano investigations. Okay, so this is from Marapi. Okay, then Bromes. And Lucy, then and the uh, Rhina, USA, and uh, Yangbajin, China, and the uh, five link lakes, and the uh, Tongchong, and the uh, Haiko, and the uh, Changbai, and Yellowstone. Okay, Yellowstone. So I've been the number of you know, volcano size and the small and large. Okay. So then to understand that, in particular, I visited the Brown volcano, the, the Brown volcano in July, Indonesia, 2011. So that's the, 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 the pipe chamber about 150 meters wide. And this one here from here about 600. And this uh, elevation had 2295 meters above sea level. And here about 2215 meters above sea level. Okay, so, but I was standing here to observe the eruption, eruption of this from this pipe of this volcano. Then that's the location here. So then that's the, chamber here so large okay so that's the size so another volcano here and another volcano here so this one still active so i can see that the small you know black one from the counter counter come out then become large the bigger sounding when come out then this one come out okay so all the uh, gas get in get the uh, air get in okay come out then become larger and larger. i was standing there and take photographs then suddenly realize it's very dangerous. If I snap it down from this uh, loose sand or ashes, and I'll get inside of here and disappear immediately. Nobody can help me. Okay, so but then all, that's the dangerous. We have, when you do recalls, volcano you know, investigation, you have to be careful, it's very dangerous. Okay, so that's the size. So actually, it's a big mountain here, that's the old, and here, small volcano here, and this small volcano here. So that's the one here is about 33 kilometers wide, you know, like a Fuji mountain. But inside here, this part here is collapsed here already. So the big mountain collapse already become this kind of uh, caldoria, caldoria. So then the new brown volcano, so that small volcano and this volcano come out, you know, formed in the old large caldoria. So the, the caldoria was formed due to the up push collapse of past huge volcano cone. So here was the mountain here, you know, nowadays here is about more than uh, uh, three, uh, two, 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 two thousand meters and originally here might be much high, so the collapse here. So that's an, a new volcano come out, okay? So, you know, this gas still there come out, okay? And the gas reaction like this one come out. So a new small volcanoes appeared in the large caldera, okay? So take home messages. Okay, uh, active volcano is a gas field reservoir in the crystal rocks. The gas, many methane gas, CH, many natural gas, CH4 and the H2O, hydrogen and the methane, from internal of Earth, say, liquid metal out core. The gas makes chemical, physical, and mechanical reaction with the crystal rocks or mental up mountain rocks, produce more gases, CO2, A2, and other gases, forms a cone shaped mountain. And with lava, ash, and rock fragments, okay, from the solid materials from the surrounding rocks on the ground and a huge cavern 
in the crystal rocks in below the Kungsha mountain. So we can withdraw gases in the chamber by drilling, and we can reduce the eruption of active gas. So if drilling the gas come out beneath, then the uh, uh, active volcanic eruption cannot occur. They can eliminate chain damage. They can further obtain the any resource of natural gases, methane gas and hydrogen. Okay, so in uh, 220, the science, okay, and uh, and uh, then produce the 125 questions, exploration and the discovery to, to be answered. So the, first, the one of them will be able to predict the catastrophic weather events like tsunami and the hurricanes and the earthquakes. So because you have guess understanding and the, of earthquake and the earthquake and the volcanoes were we can do more accurate prediction. And the, the spacious explosions and the massive extinction because of the thing gas come out and then that can be explored, then can be just extinction of mass of knives. And could we need a fossil free fossil for free world? Can then can we, why where do we put all the excess carbon dioxide? Then could we, what creates other magnetic fields? Okay, why is this? It move. Okay, so that's question. Others can be answered. So the missing gas, the understanding active volcano can help us to give more accurate answer to those questions in science. Okay, uh, then last but not least, the BFC mountains, table mountain or Goya. So in the in the sea. There are lots of table mountains. Actually, that was not originally the Kongsha volcano. And the Kongsha volcano, okay, then the clouds. So that this cloud top one here, then form this cut off table mountain. So there are many. So that's the similar as in the on land is in the create a lake. Okay, so in the ocean become this kind of geometry. Okay, so that's but it most. And also, there are more than 1,500 1, active volcanoes around in the Pacific, Pacific Ocean. And the, in this kind of Middle East, or this kind of stuff here, they are all the gas, methane gas, and hydrogen gas reaction with the surrounding rocks causing, uh, causing uh, volcanic eruptions, volcano, and lava, and the, all these ashes and the gases, and also earthquakes. The earthquake from deep ground carries is by the, by the, Gas eruption, gas, gas, you know, come out. So, okay, and uh, thank you. Okay, so uh, if you have a question, you can ask. Okay, thank you very much for your attention. Okay, and uh, and uh, bye bye. <laughs>